In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. We offer this Holy Mass especially for our family, our friends, our dear loved ones. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. And therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. O God, from whom all good things come, grant that we who call on you in our need may at your prompting discern what is right and by your guidance do it. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. I swear by God's truth, there is no yes and no about what we say to you. The Son of God, the Christ Jesus that we proclaim among you, I mean Silvanus and Timothy, and I was never yes or no. With him it was always yes, and however many the promises God made, the yes to them all is in him. That is why it is through him that we answer amen to the praise of God. Remember it is God himself who assures us all and you of our standing in Christ and has anointed us, marking us with his seal and giving us the pledge, the spirit that we carry in our hearts. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to real psalm is, Lord, let your face shine on me. Lord, let your face shine on me. Your will is wonderful indeed, therefore I obey it. The unfolding of your word gives light and teaches the simple response. Lord, let your face shine on me. I open my mouth and I sigh and I yearn for your commands. Turn and show me your mercy, show justice to your friends, response. Lord, let your face shine on me. Let my steps be guided by your promise. Let no evil rule me. Let your face shine on your servant and teach me your decrees. Response, Lord, let your face shine on me. Alleluia, alleluia. Let your light shine before all and they may see your good works and glorify your Father. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, You are the salt of the earth. 
But if salt becomes tasteless, what can make it salty again? It is good for nothing and can only be thrown out to be trampled underfoot by men. You are the light of the world. A city built on a hilltop cannot be hidden. No one lights a lamp to put it under a tub. They put it on the lampstand where it shines for everyone in the house. In the same way, your light must shine in the sight of men so that seeing your good works, they may give the praise to your Father in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. It's a new following, a new movement of people. Jesus takes them up the mountain and delivers what is known as the Sermon on the Mount. And he gives them these words that both provide a new identity and mission for the followers of Jesus Christ. It's interesting that it happens very early on, not after they have achieved something themselves, but it's really just by responding to the invitation of Jesus who says, come follow me, that these people immediately in doing what Christ asked are discovering already a new identity and mission. Both light and salt Christ uses to highlight something of who his followers will be and what they're called to do. Jesus himself says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Light is needed, brothers and sisters, for others to see the way. We are not the way. Jesus is. But he has chosen us to light up the way for others to recognize that, to discover that, and to know where and who to walk with. Elsewhere in Scripture, when someone asks Jesus, by starting with the words, good teacher, Christ highlights immediately and wants them to think about what that good means by saying, why do you call me good? No one is good but God alone. We heard about it today as well in the collect of the Mass. We hear about how God himself is the giver of all that is good. When you think about salt and its use, especially in the time of Christ, it was primarily to preserve. In a time where they didn't have refrigeration like we do today, salt was valuable in preserving the good that was food, that was necessary for survival. Jesus himself is the source of goodness, but he has chosen us to be the salt that preserves the good that is in this world. And not only that, as Christians, we're also meant to add flavor to life. Salt also enhances and so the question for us, brothers and sisters today, is how do we light up the way for others to see? How do we, as followers of Jesus, members of this movement, enhance the lives of others?
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you and lead us to grow in charity through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection. 
until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially of the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope and Anthony our Bishop, the order of bishops or the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, 
Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God is my saving strength.
Let us pray. May your healing work, O Lord, free us, we pray, from doing evil, and lead us to what is right, through Christ our Lord. Christ never makes a mistake. You are the light of the world. You are the salt of the earth. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.